Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. I'm bringing to you a video on how to do user management for your website that BSN Tech Networks has created for you. You'll use user management for things like forums or for registered access to your website. You can also give other people administrative access so they have the ability to log in to your admin portal and then also make changes on your pages or other aspects of your website. First of all, you will need a username and a password in order to access the administrative portal of your website. If you have not received that from us, certainly reach out to us and we'll be happy to provide that to you. So you'll go ahead and log into your website first and then you'll be greeted with the admin portal which is shown here you have several different options now you can see immediately on this front page you have user manager so you can click on the user manager and go directly to that location you can also come up here and hover over the site menu and choose user manager there as well once you're in the user manager you will see the users that are available on your website so of course we have the super admin this is the one that I just logged in with and that's what gives me the access to the website here so in the event that you wanted to change an account you can just click on their name and then it shows their name the username that they will use to log into the site and their email address if you need to reset their password you can do that here you can put in a new password and then you need to type in again to make sure that it is typed in correctly down here is the group that they are a part of and this is what controls what access they have if you want to block the user from being able to use the site change this from no to yes of course you can also just delete the account as well there are some other parameters over here if you wanted to choose a language and uh, time zone things like that but typically these do not need to be changed and they're fine as the default so I'm going to close out of this and go back to the main screen if I want to delete an account, all I have to do is put a checkbox next to their name and then hit delete, and then that will delete their account. To create an account, you simply just come up here and click on new, and then you put in their name. So I'm going to say test user, username of test, email address of testing this at bsntech.com or whatever their email address is and then of course then you can just put in whatever password you would like now down here again this is the group that they would be part of that allows them to access things in general if you're wanting them to be able to use forums or other features where they just need to log in in order to access uh, hidden features or password protected features of your website make sure that they're registered if you want them to be able to make a lot of changes to the admin portal make them an administrator if you want to give them admin portal access but prevent them from changing some aspects of the website just make them a manager and then they can only do certain other things in the back end such as changing the pages um, or things like that but they should not be able to configure components or other aspects of the site so the configuration data would be off limits if you were a manager but you still would be able to make changes to the site after that you just simply hit save and then you have your new user created so it's fairly quick and simple you can see there you can also see when they last visited it shows over here right now it says never because this person has never logged in but uh, in general that is how you will go about setting up users in your website to provide them registered or password protected access thanks again for watching this is brian with bsntech.com